Ooh, hey, guess what? We are going to do an ice bath today. Some people uh, have been asking about it, just the different stuff that I use. This is a 100 gallon tub. The water in here is about 74 degrees, whatever that 24 Celsius. We have eight bags of ice, and then we also have 40 frozen water bottles that we're gonna put in here. And normally I'll let that sit for uh, two hours to let it cool down, hopefully get in the 40s. So we have about 70 gallons in this 100 gallon tub. I might take some out just so it gets colder. And um, we're gonna sit in it. This is actually my sixth day training in a row of jujitsu, so I need it. All right, look at all that. That's all cold, cold, cold. So we just put the ice in, eight bags of two pound bags, and then 40 of these frozen water bottles. And uh, right now, if I measured the temperature on top, yeah, we're you know at 30 some odd degrees. But if we go lower, it's actually still like 60, 70 degrees down there. So ideally you wanna stir it and um, you wanna, you wanna let it sit for two hours. I don't really have that time right now because we're about to go out. And plus I got some really sore joints. So I'm actually gonna go in it now and see how long I last. I'll try to go 20 minutes or so. What happens is, is not only does this help my body for those types of reasons, and I don't really know the science behind it, but I've read about it, but also you get into an amazing meditative state. It is insane. If I do this for 20 minutes, then I will be pain free but also my muscle pain will be, uh, it'll feel good the next day. So I would be sore the next day, joint and muscle wise, but I will be feeling good uh, with my muscles uh, tomorrow if I sit in this for about 15, 20 minutes, but we'll try and go 20 or over. All right, so we're a few hours after the ice bath, and um, <clears throat> man, I'll tell you this, after training with all the fatigue that I've had, uh, your muscles heal up so well. Also, I've gotten a couple injuries, like the gi grips on my hands, uh, pretty screwed up. Uh, my knee got popped actually today, nothing too serious, and my shoulders messed up. Anyway, jujitsu stuff, but like really, really intense joint pain. So the thing is, is when you take an ice bath, the muscles, definitely get some aid and benefit but that may not mean they're recovering properly it just means like you're alleviated you're good man no crazy soreness and that's when i go for those intense like this one was 25 minutes in that kind of 40 to 50 degree water and uh but the joint pain like the knee the tendon pain that does not get any better also i tend to wait one hour all the way to sometimes four hours after i train because apparently this is what they say you know i get this from Rhonda patrick's interviews is when your body is uh under whatever stress is it's naturally releasing certain hormones in the first hour and the cold may get in the way of that so i just tend to wait doesn't seem to be a problem the coolest part about it is that i feel so pumped after the ice bath and as you could see in 15 minutes of being in the ice bath man i'm just in this amazing meditative state it's so nuts i lose track of time you separate from your mind and body it's not the numbness i can feel my body i can move my body i have will over it i, I have touch but you can just go into these different areas it's literally impossible to describe now that I'm out of it, I, I can't access it. I just know how euphoric and amazing it is. Uh, the other thing too is I will sleep amazing. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there's basically two reasons why I do ice baths uh, to recover from physical trauma, I guess you could say. But even if I'm not exercising, I do them daily just because it is so awesome. Or at least five times a week. It's amazing. It is 
literally the best form of meditation that I've ever done.